Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's lesson is intro to variables. But before we start, make sure to like, share, and subscribe my video. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's hop right into the video. I have the face that we made last time here to help us with this lesson. Let's change the size of his eyes first. Let's make it 30. That's the eye size. 30. 30, 30, and 30. Let's run the code. Yep, his eyes look good. But they look too small. Let's make them back to, let's make them 35. Yeah, they look, they're perfect. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could change the size of height and width of this both eyes at the same time? Here's where variables come in. Variable is just like a name or a placeholder for something I think of for something. I think of it like a big bucket with a name on it. You can put anything in it you want in the bucket. Out the name stays the same so let's start out by actually making a variable i'm going to do it all the way up here type in where which stands for variable then i size followed by a parenthesis followed by a semicolon you can name whatever you, the variable whatever you want but you're not allowed to sp space between letters go to the second line and type in i size is equals to 20 i size is equals to 20 followed by a semicolon okay now you see that equal sign forget whatever your math teacher taught you about that the equal sign doesn't mean equal it means the assignment this means we are assigning the y value 20 to the variable i size in other words we are putting the number 20 into the bucket called i size x is equal to 4 or 4 is equal to x and it all means the same thing because they are equal the thing on the left hand side of the equal is always available and the thing on the right hand side of the variable is always the value that you're assigning to the variable and now whenever i use my eye size in my program the computer is going to change the size of both eyes to the same size i'm just going to copy the word eye size and remove the numbers for height and width with my variable i size and there you go let's try it i size copy go to eyes control v let's paste it in here run code there you go the eyes are now perfect and round. If you want to change the size of the eyes, just go to the value and change the number. Let's try typing 40, run code. There you go. The eye size changed. So, you, there you go. You learn everything about variables. So make sure to like, share, and subscribe my video. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Bye.